Greetings all, hello and welcome to congratulations, your a dick number 12. This is the series where I compile articles of assholery and I present them to you for your betterment or enjoyment. Today we have Prodigal Province, Wonderful Westfield, Exciting Ensk, and Cumbersome Cliff. So sit back, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and let's get started. Province, the proverbial kitten fight arena makes its prophesized return to all tears. It's bigger. It's well, that's debatable. Um, believe it or not, less than a week after the release of Improved Province, the misty, unpredictable, ever-changing, unspoken tendencies that we call a meta had already been well and truly established, and less than two weeks after said occasion, myself and Ian had already found a meta to play as counter. Now, the fact that this map settled into a meta so quickly comparative to something like uh, Discount Lundenberg or Hey look, another good scout map, just kidding, is telling. Um, this map lends itself right off the back to a camp off. Why is that? Well... An important thing to note is that these two positions and these two positions are pretty much identical as far as impact in the game goes. However, let's say you're on the green team here. Immediately, you win this area. In fact, the balancing is so bad that you could send one tank over here and still secure this position. Why? Because any assault to take it back exposes itself to the entirety of your base. Look how open it is for Pansfra. Look how far you have to go to get into cover. Now this is of course the exact same on the other side, so at the very least, it's not unbalanced. So, what is the counterplay for this? Well, these two positions, while very strong and hard to take back, aren't going to win the game. The architecture on both sides blocks supporting fire to advancing attackers, so the logical thing to do is camp. Like you see myself and my friends doing here. The enemy does nothing with that position. But your team gets the other side. If you commit nothing and wait for the enemy team to attack, then you can work them down with cross shots from your opposing hill that you've won easily. This works with both sides. So what is the meta planking play for this map? Camp like a bitch and hope that the enemy team gets bored before you do. I'm honestly not sure how this doesn't get picked up um, during testing. I mean, I, I get tactics are difficult, but this map is about as complex as a Michael Bay film. Now, I'm sure you aren't all here to learn about the ineptitude of Wargaming's map design. That is one well of information that leaks through any video like a nasty tap. No, here's our candidate of cretinous cretinism today. That is a wonderful phrase. Cretinous cretinism. Now I only need to be able to say it. Damn you, speech impediment. The tortoise. A man who got his name by doing this. Um, oh no, Leon. Perfect. Yes, you see, while Manticore in the FE is conservatively scouting, the tortoise waddles up behind him and begins urging him, none too gently, to move. Now, this is an interesting conundrum for me, um, because on one hand, in this situation, I'm well aware that the Tortoise it would be a far more effective tank to utilise this position, and personally, I would most likely vacate it if I were this FB bowing to the potential of a more well-equipped tank. On the other hand... And if the whole world is telling you to move, it is your duty to plant yourself like a tree, look them in the eye and say no. You move. 
You see, Tortoise, as much as you want this position, you don't own it. If another tank has got there first, tough luck deal with it. You could ask them to move, sure, but it's entirely at their discretion, and they have equal right to the position. And it is not like that on other positions about, like, say, 20 meters to the left. Now, I understand you want to be near the tree because your tank comes with a built-in bird bath on top, but for God's sake! The only thing that can make this worse is... I don't know, the fucking physics and realism guy showing up. Playable right, physics and, and realism. Move from this place. Fucking really? Well, you might just do that, Tortoise, had you not turned him into a British memorial statue. And today, we erect this statue commemorating the mediocrity of Tier 8 Medium Tank. No. Jim, I must say, this is absolutely a sterling work! Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> you said tier 8 medium tanks. Yes! Okay, what about Asha medium tanks? What about Asha medium tanks? See, if the tortoise were a better player, he'd have flipped him on the right side, and he could either capilla. I guess he didn't, because he- I guess he didn't, because he- I guess he didn't, because- Now, someone mentioned in my last video that the first scene was boring. Due to nothing happening, purely people mouthing off in chat. Right, and while I do agree with them on a, on a superficial level, I felt I spent a bit too long on the replay. In fact, I even took it into a different editor and sped it up by like 5% just to cut like 30 seconds off it. I, I, I disagree with the principle that Everything needs to take place with guns or physics. That everything needs to be big and violent and happening. Yes, people can easily portray how big a dicks they are with their actions, but it's the knowledge-based medium, right? And in order for you to understand the severity of the crime, you have to sit in the victim's shoes. You have to empathize with them. You have to have the experience of trials and tribulations of gameplay, and not everyone has that to the same extent. In my mind, nothing quite compares to the boundless, unquantifiable potential of the clean slate of chat. Such an undeniably fluid medium whereby people pegged at any skill level from Noob to gold noob can happily interpret what sulky, incessant, rich inducing whining may come their way. Speaking of which, standard gameplay here on Westfield. Although you may have missed at the start the ravings of the Type 64, who stands atop the mountain of his skill level and begins hurling insults and potent pessimism at those below and above him somehow simultaneously. Either way, later, the Type 64 puts himself in a stupid position. Perhaps he spotted and exposed to fire from a highly frequented enemy position and rather predictably he dies and oh my god. I wonder, I do wonder if I can find a clip that Actually, um, represents what's about to happen. Run for your life!
Welcome to Ensk, the Narnia of World of Tanks. You might be saying, hmm, that's a odd analogy, Ensk does not look anything like Narnia, and you'd be right. It can, however, fit inside of a cupboard. And people have been known to use Aslan's mod pack on it. <laughs> now, we are joining Boom Gunner in uh, the T49, and He's utilising the DPM laden 90mm gun in this game. <laughs> Silly boom gunner, that's not how the T49 works! Oh, look what oh, I found! Oh lordy loo! Hello darling! Here, we're approaching our target. I need your help now! Guys! Nailed it! Whoop 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 whoop! At my we're going this way, then we're gonna do 180 damage. Yes. What did you say? Never mind. Oh. We don't have time. Whoop! Ah, oh, come on! I can't hard stop that. Do you mind, fun sir, if I access your booty? No, thank you. Come on, Tennis! Come on! Come on, Kevin! Yeah! No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a good move. Yeah, you fucking go out swinging, lads. Everyone died. The end. Defending tank ethos aside, we settle in for some fairly inoffensive, generic light tank gameplay. Tentatively looks for an opening in the perpendicular alleyways of Ensk before relocating. Hunger in his heart, prompted by the unwavering success of the western flank. You can never rely on it. XVM is like the Bible. A thousand different people can learn it a thousand different ways. Some get angry, some don't care, some are inspired, and some go mad. <laughs> now, I'm aware that the vast majority of players uh, don't care to think about the depth of the game. I mean, you try to talk to a random player about complex World of Tanks issues, and it, it, it's just like, excuse me, sir, do you know the negative impact that Panzer 2J you just bought has on low tier gameplay? No, but I don't have to know to like. God damn it. So it's at this point that a fully T starts having some kind of Vietnam flashback and begins screaming that the T 49 has been reported. Why? I don't know. Um, I cannot even see what he said under the uh, stars, not blocking it out, but. I am willing to bet I've been called worse things by better people. Um, so this game's rapidly concluding its four minutes of action in a fiasco around both capsicles. And it's worth noting right now that the friendly team have a significant advantage. It's 8-7 and we have two tier 9s compared to their one. And an arty to interrupt the cap. Which is why what's happening now is all the more disturbing. Listen, you toad faced gibbon, the fact that you've invented some fictionally justifying reason for importing this guy has no bearing on you blocking him and behaving like a dick. Especially when he has done nothing to you. He has not touched you. In fact, you fall well and truly into the category of people that I would not come near with a 10 foot barge pole and a fecking hazmat suit. And were personal preference the only attributed factor in gameplay, I'd check out a gameplay with you faster than I'd note out of Alien Covenant. Unfortunately, we have a team to support, so next game, have a care to distinguish between the facts and the whims of your demonstrated assholey in nature. Because I seriously wonder if your ass misses the amount of shit that came out in game chat. So, Cliff. Now, I had some quarrels uh, with this episode. I, because I, I thought of featuring uh, Jotner Blood and friends again still out there being assholes in every game, but. But that would get old really quickly, so I sat absent mindedly formulating what I do. Unfortunately for me, when I start thinking, things. well, things get weird. Well, Shrek is on Tinder, so I've got options. I could. oh, I could do a Spartan scene. Wonder why Spartans were put in jail naked. I bet they're Chinese jingled. 
Oh my god, don't think about naked Spartan jingles, don't think about naked Spartan jingles, don't think about naked Spartan jingles! <laughs> so, as this game begins, click. click. Clitchness says, Hello, Artie, bye bye, Artie. Heavily implying, yep. Um, it's him, kills the Artie. To the dismay of many, and to the delight of the T110E5. Now, later, he continues enacting his violent hatred towards Artie by blocking and pushing the Batcher, such that he's unable to contribute to the game in the slightest. Now, with the combined efforts of said Badger and Bjorn here in the M4, I kill the Scorpion. Who then comes back with all that port the Navioli. <laughs> ah, Scorpion. <laughs> and all that really makes me nostalgic for all the f I don't give. The ironic thing is, even with two times. Um, three tanks dead by self or team inflicted injury, I still win this game. And as the game is concluding and the T120E5 is being ironically bitch slapped for 1.5k health by flying pigs, he vows that he will team kill one in the next game. I just don't know whether this is too much, right? But I'm gonna go out with a limb here. Hey babe, how you doing? Thanks for the lovely evening. Yeah. I feel like people who display this kind of attitude in game are more prone to being racists in real life, right? Because it's the exact same mentality. Ah, oh, blah, yeah, they're all the same fucking piggers. They have it easy coming into the map, taking our damage and our light tanks. Ah. Basic logic and respect have as much significance to these guys as a bowel movement has to a hamster. And so, there we conclude our escapades. Our scenic serendipitous meeting has ended. Send any replays or articles of dickish behaviour in game or out to replays.wolst at yahoo.co.uk. You can find that in the description. Leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe for more and farewell. Well guys, we've seen this before And you're still asking me for more It's harder and time to make these funny I've seen this now a thousand times Team killing ain't no petty crime It's a cold and it's a block on you YouTube content Showing us holes Me and us holes Takes its toll On me Plus, I will say, it is somewhat convenient that um, our friend, Mr. Bjorn, was playing in a French uh, ravioli tank, because, you know what the French always say, ravioli, ravioli, f*** off and die alone. <laughs>